Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. And the good news is there's no severe weather in the forecast for tonight. This morning, though, heavy rainfall. We did have some uh, severe thunderstorm warnings to our south and to our east, but most of the activity there diminished uh, by mid-morning, and now we were looking at just some clouds and some spotty rain. There's the big picture. We've got an area low pressure down to the south of us, but we have an upper-level low that's pretty strong that's been teaming up with this low down here, giving us the rainfall. And by the way, this low is kind of fighting with this high off to the west, and that's why we have very windy conditions conditions on top of us. The good news is this is going to move away. That high moves in and our winds will start to calm down here in our region. But the rain's been steady from time to time across parts of our area. Here's the big picture. I wanted to show you that the back edge is over toward Brownwood. And then as you work your way down basically around Austin, we're starting to see some light rain. And eventually, that tap will start to turn off. But as I get you in a little bit closer, you can see pretty uh, wet conditions right now in McLennan County. As you work your way a little bit farther up to the north there, it's been coming down around the Hillsboro area and then areas back off to the west. Been looking at uh, quite a bit of some steadier rainfall. Once again, this is on the back side of that low and it'll finally begin to pull out as we go throughout the evening. But look at this rain. We've had a lot of rain, getting close to three inches over the last 24 hours here in Waco, about an inch up in Mejia. As you work your way over toward Colleen, maybe not as much, but that's still a pretty good dose. Uh, over an inch and a half over toward Gatesville, inch and a half in Comanche. So you get the trend. Some areas saw quite a bit. Other areas like Brenham, only about a third of an inch. And those winds today, boy, weren't they strong? They were out of the north and west about 35 miles per hour with gusts a little bit higher than that. They have come down a little bit. You can see the arrows showing a north wind around 12 in Gatesville and 13 right now in the Temple area. So the forecast as we go throughout the evening, I still have high chances of rain by 7 o'clock. You can see scattered here and there. But as we go throughout the evening, there's that spin right now in the atmosphere, and that's the low getting out of here. By midnight, a 20% chance here, maybe a little bit higher over toward uh, 45. And it looks like as we hit overnight into early tomorrow morning, we see some drier air coming in, and that drier air pushes all the clouds away. So a lot of sunshine expected tomorrow with temperatures in the lower 70s. Not looking bad. Here comes the front. Front moves through. No moisture with the front to work with. But that does change our winds back to the north and west. So slightly cooler air begins to move in. So as we start the day on Friday, we'll be in the 40s. And then throughout the day on Friday, mostly sunny skies. But we're going to be in the mid to upper 60s instead of the lower 70s like we will be tomorrow. So not bad, but still a pretty nice way to end the work week. Showers coming to an end later on tonight, then clearing skies develop overnight. 46 degrees will be the low temperature, and then a few clouds in the morning, otherwise mostly sunny, about 71 degrees the high. And take a look at the Mike Stoss long range forecast. Sunshine on Friday, 68, 67 on Saturday. Sunday, we're going to see a few more clouds, 68, but the big story is. The time change. Don't forget to spring forward. Turn the clocks ahead one hour on Sunday. Monday, 76 degrees, the high, a 50 50 chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but look at those high temperatures. Thanks to a warm front and a southerly breeze, we're going to be in the mid 70s next week to start it off. Low temperatures, not bad either. Upper 40s to low to middle 50s. And down toward Bryan and College Station, you may be socked in the clouds a little longer tomorrow. We'll see clearing skies, sunshine in the afternoon, 72. And again, as we hit the weekend, we're talking 60s and 70s, and those 70s continue right on through the start of next week. Hey, we will take it. That is really nice. The average high temperature is not looking bad. Again, with those storms that we had, it's also just a reminder that you need to get a weather radio. And Fox 44 is working with Academy Sports and Outdoors to raise awareness about having an importance of having one of these weather radios. We will be around here around the clock to keep an eye on storms in the future. But again, if you go to bed at night, it's great to have one of these weather radios close by because you get all the information coming in from the National Weather Service that will save your life. So if you need one, just head down to Academy Sports Outdoors and pick up your official weather radio of the Fox 44 Storm Team.